Hey guys, how are you going? Today I'll be showing you how to create a user profile card from scratch using plain HTML and CSS. So essentially, we're going to be creating this right here. So as we can see, um, we've got the ability to display a photo, um, the, uh, the profile name, um, a brief summary or title, and then of course just below here, um, some extra details with an icon for example, um, saying how many followers they have and things like that. So let's get right into it inside this tab right here. So as I said, it's going to be from scratch. So let's go inside the text editor right here and we can see we are working with this right here, um, a basic HTML skeleton. I've also got inside here a directory called images uh, with that profile photo right there inside there. Um, so now let's begin on the HTML before moving on to the CSS. So let's make a new container for the profile card. It's going to be a div with a class of profile. Inside here we can create a new image element and of course here this will be the actual profile image. So uh, let's give it the image source uh, going to images and then profile.jpg and for the alt we can just say something like profile image. Um, maybe instead for your case um, you can put the actual profile name um, and then of course also let's give it a class and uh, this class will be profile underscore underscore image once again on my channel using BEM the block element modifier CSS naming convention. Um, now that the image has been inserted we can move on to the profile name. So we can say div with a class of profile name inside here something like Justin Stone. Okay, uh, We can do the same thing or very similar thing uh, for the profile title. This time with a class of profile title um, and something like uh, for example web developer at sample company. Okay. And then lastly, we can include the profile details. So for example, how many followers they have. So we can say uh, new div with a class of profile underscore underscore detail. Inside here, we're going to be using Google's material icons to insert the icon. But for now, let's just say 1200 followers. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to save this here and then refresh the browser and we can see we get something like this. So obviously, we are mostly done with the HTML. However, let's just include the icon library now um, to have that little profile or that person icon next to the amount of followers. So as usual, I'm going to be using uh, Google material icons as my font uh, or sorry, as my icon library. So I'll leave a link to this in the description, but essentially just go on this website here and then use the icon fonts for web section and just copy and paste this link um, into the head of your HTML page. And then that's going to load um, the icon library. And then now um, you can also head over to uh, the icon uh, website. Uh, so I believe it is right here, material icons library. So this is the actual uh, site to view all the icons. Once again, uh, this will be in the description also. I want to do a search here for, I believe it is person. And as we can see right here, we have all of these icons filtered by person. Uh, I'm going to choose person right here. If you want to, uh, you know, get some more icons, just simply remove this filter, and we can see we have plenty of icons to choose from. But as I said, it's going to be person for me. So uh, to use this, let's go back inside the HTML now and just create a new i tag with a class of material dash icons inside the i tag contents. Just put the name of the icon. So person in my case. Then of course a space right here to separate it. I'm going to save this here and refresh and now we can see that the icon is working perfectly fine. Um, so now we can move on to the CSS for the profile card. So back inside here, let's now head inside the style tag and firstly let's target the actual profile container itself. So we can target the profile class and firstly set a font family of sans serif. I'll show you later on how to include your own custom font. Um, also a text align of center. So essentially everything inside here is going to be centered. Um, and uh, we can move on now to the actual profile um, profile image. Um, actually, I did forget uh, just then to include a few more properties. So uh, along with uh, these two properties here for the profile container, we can also say max width and make this 200 pixels. Um, a box shadow, 
Um, this can be something like 0, 0, 10 pixels RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and then 0 0.2. And then finally, we can say padding and make this 20 pixels. So now saving this and refreshing gives us something like this. As we can see, the image is still really large, but we can see the box shadow is working perfectly fine, as well as the max width set on the profile container just above here. And of course, down here as well, everything is centered and it's got that updated font. Okay, so now let's move on to styling up the profile image. So back inside here, let's target the profile image class. And we can say firstly, a width and a height of 150 pixels. So of course, uh, having the same width and height here um, to ensure a perfectly circle, uh, you know, uh, squarish sort of image, right? Um, along with this, we can say object fit and make this cover. Um, this way, the actual person is going to be clipped um, to fit inside this squarish container, okay? Um, we can also say here border radius and make this 50 pixels for a perfectly circle border radius. And um, also a margin of 0, auto, 20 pixels, and then auto. So basically, we are saying 0 margin for the top. Then uh, for the right, it's going to be auto. For the bottom, 20 pixels, the same as the padding up here. Then for the left, also auto. So these two autos, it's going to ensure that it is going to be centered within the container. And lastly, let's give it a display of block and then save this and refresh and now we can see it is perfectly centered and in the middle of the actual container. So now moving on to the profile details um, or the actual you know name and title, things like that. So let's start with the name by going back inside here and targeting the profile name class. Okay, for this, we can simply just say font size and make this 1.2 em, so 1.2 times the current font size, and also a font weight of bold, pretty straightforward. Let's save this and refresh, and we get something like this. Moving on to the profile details, this will also be really straightforward. Um, we can just say profile underscore underscore detail, I'm sorry, uh, title, my mistake, so profile title, um, a margin bottom of uh, 20 pixels, once again, trying to match the padding um, and the margining used previously, okay? Saving this and refreshing is going to leave space between this and, of course, the extra details on the bottom. Uh, speaking of that, let's now style up the details. So for this, uh, back inside here, once again, of course, uh, targeting the profile detail uh, class. And uh, this will be a bit interesting, but we're going to say display and make this flex. And then align items of center and then justify content of center. So basically, all those three properties right there is going to ensure that um, your actual profile icon here is going to be perfectly aligned with um, the text right here. Okay, so that is what that flex is used for. Um, but we also got. To add, I need to add one more property uh, or uh, one more rule, and that is going to be font size. And we're going to make this 0.9 em or 90% of the current font size. So now saving this and refreshing, it's going to make it a tiny bit smaller. And um, that's basically it for the profile card. But now we can, of course, move on to adding a bit of a final touch. And that, of course, is going to be the actual font. So for this, I recommend using Google Fonts um, to find your font. And I'm going to be using the, I believe that is New, uh, new Nito font. Okay, so um, doing a search for uh, something like this is going to work perfectly fine. Um, but you do want to make sure that when you're using font properties, make sure you get around, let's just say about five-ish styles. Um, these styles refer to things like italics and bolds and thin and uh, things like that. So definitely make sure that you have enough styles to cover the font having at least a normal and a bold weight. Okay, so Nunito has a regular and a bold style. Um, this is confirmed by going to the customize section. We can see here we have regular and uh, plenty of more things. However, I'm interested in regular and bold since we used bold for the actual person name. So selecting uh, these two styles here and then just pressing back to embed and copying this link right here, then pasting it once again inside the head. 
uh, the font is now loaded in the actual web page so now I can change this font family right here to be Nunito and then Sans Serif so now saving this and refreshing is going to give us um, this right here the finished product including um, the extra font we just included um, I do want to mention real quickly also that if you're after usage instructions for your font it's going to be right here we can see it tells you how to actually use your font with the backup right there so that is how to create a user profile card from scratch using plain HTML and CSS thank you for watching guys and I'll see you later